Another day, another dollar. The morning commute, a bit of ice, but no delays. You see, Jeff Edger's commute ends where most begin, his garage. In some ways, I was prepared for this pandemic better than almost any other person because my job, uh, you know, has always been remote. When this journalist jumped from the Boston Globe to the Washington Post in 2014, he kept his home base in West Concord. As a national arts reporter at the Washington Post, my entire job was traveling to my stories and coming back here to the barn and writing them. And when the pandemic hit, suddenly I was like everybody else. I was just completely shut down and I couldn't go anywhere. But Edgers has patched together a makeshift workaround. I've sent the request. I think she's, yes! If Edgers couldn't go out into the world, he'd bring the world to his barn with a weekly Instagram live interview show called Stuck with Jeff. It really was this experience of losing faith, friends, and family all at once. It was harrowing. Today, Edgers is speaking with writer and comedian Cameron Esposito in Los Angeles. What's interesting is that at the beginning, I was begging and pleading for guests. But now, even famous people are realizing that they also are grounded and they have nothing to do. And they're like, oh, the Washington Post wants to talk? Sure. I brought a couple of props. Here's one of them. Guests have ranged from Chris Wallace to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, rockers Elvis Costello, Dave Grohl, oh, I like oh, that's one of my favorite records of all time. even Dr. Anthony Fauci, twice. She made me promise that I would take my birthday off and here I am speaking with you. <laughs> Basically for me, it's about getting really cool people on who I'd want to talk to anyway and sharing that with our audience. Now a roster of bold-faced names is lined up for their moment in this little barn in West Concord. It's quite extraordinary to be in my barn by myself, basically being serenaded by like Yo-Yo Ma. It's amazing. <laughs> Love it. And Edgers makes a point of dressing up for his interviews, usually a preppy tie and jacket, though he did sport a Fauci t-shirt under his sport coat for his second interview with the esteemed doctor. And that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.